<laughs> have you guys seen he she on YouTube how it should have ended they did they do hilarious like animated skits of how they think all these recent movies should end and they do bad man <laughs> Is that your new stage voice? Oh, boy. Sounds like you're gurgling marbles. Oh, it's great. Anyway, it's been a really long time since I've done a video, and I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, I'm, I've been busy. Uh, yes, I know. Excuses, excuses. I think I've probably lost some subscribers, and a few people have probably forgotten really who I am. That's how long it has been since I've done a video. Good lord! Uh, I may fix this. Been super busy. What with everything, I've I've been I'm buying a house. Uh, I'm going to court like freaking every single month while I'm trying to figure out get a for a custody battle and whatnot. And I'm working full time and like with what with owning a house and everything, I'm doing landscaping. I just got like chain link fence for my yard. It's funny. I went and got chain link fence. And I was like, yeah, I need a I need six foot fencing. And the guy's like, why do you need six foot fencing? I'm like, well, if you're gonna build something, you know, you might as well build it zombie proof. And I think that is a very good model that everybody in the world should live by. Because heaven forbid there's a zombie apocalypse and you have four foot fencing and they fall over your fence and then eat your brains. Six foot fencing? Wouldn't happen. Wouldn't be able to get in. Chain link? It's concreted into the ground. Fantastic. Problem solved. So anyway, uh, you know, that's, that's what I've been up to. I've been keeping busy and whatnot. So a whole bunch of crazy interesting things have been happening all over the world, which is neat. Uh, if you read the book of Revelations, it will save me all of the time of telling you what is happening in the world. And it would offer you a little insight into what's going to happen in the future. A little religion aside, it's crazy out there. It's really nutty. The internet is once again under attack with CISPA because knowledge is power and people who have power are bad for government and corporations. Therefore, CISPA is like PIP, PIPA, SOPA, and all these other internet censorship bills. They want to censor the information that you and I receive through alternative media because main, mainstream media, MSM, sucks so much. There is there is no knowledge in there whatsoever. It is all just controlled by conglomerates and it's useless. So, trying to shut down the internet to keep us from obtaining information. Fantastic. Iran, you know, just they're, these are the, those little rational people just like, we want to build nuclear reactors so that we have nuclear power for hospitals and things like that. Because, you know, nuclear power seems to be the way to step up to the, the plate and to advance your particular uh, country and society. Fantastic. All the power to Iran. The state says Iran completely surrounded and they said in a new report released today that it would take them roughly three weeks to a month to, to completely wipe out all of Iran's army. <laughs> I like how I did the Hitler salute there. Uh, <clears throat> all of Iran's army and it would be done. Israel is saying they're getting ready, preparing the borders in case for whatever godforsaken reason they are attacked by Egypt and if they have to go to war with Iran as well. And Iran said that they will have, they have the ability to get a nuclear submarine or warships three kilometers off the coast of Manhattan, New York City. <sighs> you also think that the sleeper cells that are likely around in America, Hezbollah that would just be targeting Israel. Did you know $3.8 billion of American dollar? America gives $3.8 billion per year to Israel. I'm not exactly sure what that money is for, and I'm pretty sure Canada also gives money to Israel. <laughs> I don't like Israel, I don't want my taxpayer dollars. Is there an, is there an opt-out program out of this? Yeah. So the world is absolutely going crazy. Seven out of ten people, sorry, one out of seven people believe that the world is going to end. Either by God's hand, politically, 2012, the end of the Mayan calendar, like, good lord, asteroid. Which apparently there's supposed to be a huge asteroid that hits Earth in 2016. They're working on ways, using nuclear arsenal, to, say, laden a ship uh, with some weapons, like some uh, nuclear arms, and then fly it into the, for a certain trajectory or whatever, at an asteroid, blowing it up, balancing if it's too big, right? Uh, just throwing it off trajectory, like just missing Earth. Fantastic, that's pretty cool. That's like sci-fi movie crazy stuff. Neat. Uh, if that's possible, hallelujah. So, I understand said, I do not know what weapons World War Three will be fought with. But I do know World War Four will be fought with sticks and stones. Yeah, yeah, it will be. Uh, I might have said this before, if even two countries in the Middle East exchanged nuclear fire, there were bombs dropped, a billion people would die within 10 years from the worldwide effects of that, those bombs dropping via like malnourishment and lack of food and all this other stuff. <laughs> Interesting, crazy stuff whatsoever. So that's a little bit of uh, the military update, great and all. I'm currently reading a book, which I seem to have misplaced somewhere, right here. <clears throat> the Way of the Superior Man. A spiritual guide to mastering the challenges of women, work, and sexual desire. If you are a uh, man that is interested in improving, 
your masculinity by getting in touch with your femininity, I would suggest the way of the superior man. Also, if you are a chap or woman, you know, whoever, if you're an interested being in improving your spiritual side and getting more in tune with yourself and nature, harmony, the eternal energy that bounds all of us, uh, Dan Millman, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, also a fantastic book. I, uh, the secrets to happiness, literally, are written in these pages. I swear to God. Uh, not everybody... The information that is there is useful to everybody, but how people take it in uh, varies. Some people won't get the meaning out of the book and therefore have to get it another method, but in reality, I think it's all here in this particular book. So, if you guys are interested in reading, developing a little more of your spiritual center and working on who you are and whatnot, suggest those books. Also, if you have any, if you're having problems with your focus, your concentration, your uh, you're too busy, your, your thoughts are too crowded, too, too much going on. <clears throat> I suggest taking or finding a moment to find some awareness. Sitting down, closing your eyes, just trying to think about nothing and just, instead of being an active participant in your brain, to be more of an observer, to see what is flowing through your mind. To kind of see how actually busy that your mind is. And then just kind of to, to see what you think about and how often you think about things and, and what. And then try and work on cutting those things out. And I find meditation is the best way to cut out any negative or extra thoughts that are pretty much unnecessary to your daily, you know, go. If you're too busy thinking about this or that and shopping and daycare and all this other stuff, you end up forgetting that right now is the very moment that you have to be worrying about. Because the moment that is coming up has its, its, its own moment. It has its own moment to worry about things. The moments that are gone, they're already gone, they're done. There's no use worrying or stressing about them. You learned, or you lived, you learned, you have some knowledge of what has been done, and you use that for future moments. It's, it's really easy. It's really simple. Uh, <laughs> humans tend to extremely overcomplicate things, so yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys. Uh, also, fascism. If you look in the States, <clears throat> they had this interesting, we're going, the puppets, the President of the United States and Hillary Clinton, the Secretary of State, were going to fight for democracy abroad by dropping bombs on them, whatever. And we're totally against, say, uh, Egypt or whatever, clamping down on protesters for, and free speech. Like, that is not what freedom is all about. And, and then I think it was May Day, I seen that picture, there was about 50 students, that was May 1st, 50 students all sitting around like a basketball hoop, but this was like kind of their, uh, their sit-out, I guess, or something. I don't know who exactly they were, but there was around 150 fully dressed cops in riot gear around them, just surrounding them. Like, you know, just kind of watering around, and you're like, yep. Fascism, there, there it is, that is a total t totalitarian state coming up, fantastic. Harper's running Canada in the ground, fantastic. Now, not one to encourage civil disobedience in any way, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, that'd probably be a good idea for things coming up, you know, some civil disobedience just might right what's going on and, you know, help save our skins, just, just saying, you know. Anyway, that is all I have to say for you guys today. I'm finally going to upload this video. I have a bunch of videos on my camera, but I've been procrastinating, like... Ah, terrible. I mean, I've been landscaping my yard. It's taken me forever to get to it. I'll finally get to it tomorrow. I'm just so busy working, 40 hours a week. It's, it's, it's interesting. So that is all. <laughs> all right, you guys have a good day. Check out Hishi if you're in for a laugh. We spent hours on it. It's a really good waste of time, and it's really funny. And that is all. It's good seeing you guys again. Yeah, you're looking good.